Amazing. All right. Thanks, Sam. For people who suffer from a dangerously fast heartbeat or are at a high risk of arrhythmia, an implantable cardiac defibrillator can help save their lives. Here today to talk about what exactly an ICD is and discuss some new advances in the ICD technology is Dr. Steven Zwiebel, System Director of Cardiac Electrophysiology at Hartford Healthcare Heart and Vascular Institute. Doctor, I hope I pronounced that right. That was a lot of words. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, you did well. Thank All right. You. What is an ICD and what is it used for? Sure. So an ICD is an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. I happen to have one right here. Pretty small device that gets implanted under the skin in patients who've either had dangerous heart rhythm problems, uh, maybe from a heart attack, for example, or who are at risk for having dangerous heart rhythm problems. And the device basically monitors their heart rhythm 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if it sees a dangerous rapid heart rhythm, it can either pace the heart to stop that rhythm or can give them a shock to get the rhythm back to normal. All right, tell us about how the new algorithm in these devices benefit patients. Sure. So uh, there's a new algorithm that uses the pacing uh, in these devices. It's called intrinsic ATP. Uh, and really what it does is it, it's a smart algorithm. It learns from its failures. And so if it tries to pace the rhythm to stop it and fails, it looks at why it failed and then changes to try and be successful the next time. And it can do that seven or even 10 times in a row. And we think that this is going to help uh, make pacing more successful and reduce painful shocks for our patients. So how do you reassure patients that this new implanted algorithm prevents those shocks? Yeah, well, we certainly tell them about the algorithm. We present some data that we have that shows that there's probably going to be about a 17% reduction in shocks from higher success rates from this algorithm. We also have some patients who've actually successfully used the algorithm uh, to stop these rhythms. So we talk a little bit about that as well to reassure them. All right. Are there any other new technologies that we're seeing in implantable devices? Yeah, there are. The, the newer devices now actually have Bluetooth built into them, and so they can link up with a patient's smartphone and act as a uh, remote monitor. Uh, historically, we've had patients take monitors home with them and plug them in at their bedside, and now they basically have their remote monitor with them uh, wherever they go. And, Doctor, how does the actual implantation procedure go? Yep, so we basically done, done in the hospital. It's usually a same-day procedure. A patient comes in, we make a small incision in their chest in the operating room, and we thread a lead or wires through a vessel into the heart, and then we hook it up to the defibrillator and put that under the skin and, and sew it up. And batteries in these devices now are lasting in excess of 10 to 12 years. All right, doctor, thank you so much. We really appreciate all this information from Hartford Healthcare. Thank you very much. Thank you.